the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, 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 the 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 coronavirus, 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 the 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 coronavirus. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, coronavirus, the coronavirus, coronavirus, the coronavirus, pandemic continues. What the fuck is a pandemic? Today is Monday, March 23rd. The year is 2020. Let me give you a quick number, quick set of numbers. The population on planet Earth is 7.8 billion people. 7.8 billion. Of the 7.8 billion people on planet Earth so far, they have tested 340,000 people for the coronavirus. Coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. That has stopped the whole world in its tracks. Of the... 340,000 people who've tested positive so far for the coronavirus. Unless Jahaina is lying to our fucking asses. They could be masking their numbers over there. They could have had a billion people die. We don't know. But let's just go back to what's on the surface. So far, of the 340,000 cases of the coronavirus, 15,000 people have died on planet Earth. But we in a pandemic. The world... Health organizations say we in a pandemic. What the fuck is a pandemic? Well, let's see. Get our ass on this damn internet. You know the internet is worse. You know you can do. Y'all do know y'all can do more than search for porn and look at naked people on the internet, right? Let's go see what we can find. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Um, what is a and but well, before we go that, what is that let's let's get a pandemic definition let's look at that yeah, what is being put up some of these old dictionaries i want i like the websters what is this shit okay i'm gonna have to redo this because that ain't working oh wait 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 i think let's see pandemic Let's see if that works. Pandemic, here we go. Pandemic is, is an adjective of a disease prevalent over a whole country or the world. Noun. An outbreak is an adjective in a noun. Um, as, a, as a noun, it's an outbreak of a pandemic disease. The results may have skewed by influence of pandemic. Um, let's, uh, I, like, I like Webster's Dictionary. This is, I'm in the UK Dictionary. I don't like this shit. Let's see. Let's go to Webster's. Mm, I like them. There we go. Webster's Dictionary. Pull that up. And let's put it in. Here we go. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Go to the website. Here we go. And let's put it in pandemic. We in a pandemic, right? Let's, what is it? What is it? The definition of a pandemic means it's something that's occurring over a wide geographic area affecting an ex exceptionally high proportion of the population. As, a, as an adjective, as a noun, an outbreak of a disease that occurs over a wide geographic area and infects an exceptionally high proportion of the population. A pandemic outbreak of a disease. Hmm. Not no damn bill collectors right now. So... Um, the pandemic. All right, so, but I saw something else. What is a pandemic? Here we are. Pandemics are states of disease that sharply increase increase in populations around the world with infections taking place more or less simultaneously. Put this phone on palm. Pandemics are states of disease that sharply increase in populations around the world with infections taking place more or less simultaneously. 
While it usually refers to infectious disease such as the plague or influenza, it is often used also to refer to other health conditions including cancer, obesity, even addiction. Uh, so you need to go into what an endemic is, an outbreak is, epidemics. When does an epidemic officially become a pandemic? Well, in 2009, a new client of influenza A virus known as the H1N1 emerged in an outbreak in the United States. This was in 2009. I didn't remember this. I'm like, what was that in 2009? Oh, it was a recession. It quickly spread and we were and was defined by the World Health as Organization as a pandemic based on formal process on a formal process that took into account the precise nature of the countries where an infection was diagnosed. And then it says here, as infections from the 2019 coronavirus continued to spread in early 2020, the World Health Organization declared that they no longer use a formal classification to, de- to designate when an epidemic becomes a pandemic. Concerned that the premature use of the term the premature use of the term pandemic could cause panic. Officials instead describe the global epidemic as having a pandemic p- potential. Now, this is interesting. While claiming they aren't yet observing the uncontained global spread, right? But this is, I don't know when this, they wrote this. But if I'm correct, World Health Organization has declared that we are in a pandemic. Let's see. No, but it says here, February 24th, 2020, World Health, World Health Organization says it no longer uses pandemic category, but virus still emergency. Hmm. Fears of a coronavirus, coronavirus pandemic grew after sharp rises in new cases reported in Iran, Italy, and South Korea, although China relaxed restrictions on moving several places, including Beijing, as its rates of new infections ease. This was dated February 24th. The Geneva-based World Health Organization declared the 2019 H1N1 swine outbreak a, this is 2009, outbreak of pandemic, which turned out to be mild, leading to some criticism after pharmaceutical companies rushed development of vaccines and drugs. Okay, here we go. The coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. You know, they're trying to make a vaccine. They need the money. The money, the money, it's about money. So, because in 2009, the H1N1 swine outbreak was to kill a pandemic, which turned out to be mild, and but led to leading to some criticism after pharmaceutical companies rushed development of vaccines and drugs. So, hold on a second. I'm a little confused, but let's find out. How many people died in the 2009 H1N1 swine flu outbreak. Well, let's go back to the internet and see what it says. Two thousand nine H1N1 deaths. Let's see what, what happened here. How many people died, man? And here we go. In 2009, the 2009 pandemic known as the H1N1 swine flu, killed 18,000 people. Okay, 18,000 died from it. Well, how many people died in America of the H1N1 in 2009? Uh, On October 24, 2009, President Barack Obama declared swine flu a national emergency in the United States. On November 12, 2009, the CDC reported an estimated 22 Americans had been infected with the 2009 H1N1 and 4,000 Americans have died. So 4,000 people died in 2009 from the H1N1 pandemic. And guess what? I must have been on Mars. I was around in 2009. I don't remember all this. I, I, I'm not trying to take a light or nothing, but I don't remember all this going on. What was I doing? Must have been watching the Real Wild Housewives of Atlanta. Must have missed it. Hmm. Something ain't right about these numbers, y'all. Something ain't right, but they say it's so deadly. Me? Well, you know, I don't know. But there's a site 
Let's see what's going on with the coronavirus, 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 no coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. Let's see how many people. Where we? Let's see where we at now. I know. I, I know. I, when I checked earlier, we were at fifteen thousand deaths. Let's just see. CO. Coronavirus deaths. I need to. Um, let's see. Uh, here it is. There's a special site that uh, shows everything about the coronavirus. So, as of what's the day's date again? As of March twenty third, two thousand twenty, we have three hundred and fifty three thousand four hundred forty six four hundred forty six cases of the coronavirus. The deaths so far have been 15,410. 100,614 cases recovered. I please, y'all. Something ain't right here. Something ain't right about these numbers. Something ain't right that we got all these cities locked down. We got all this shit going on. So something ain't right with this bullshit. Is there a coronavirus? 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 The coronavirus? Yes, there is. Coronavirus? Coronavirus? The coronavirus? 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 Yes, there's a coronavirus. Coronavirus? Coronavirus? It exists. The coronavirus? 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 Yes, they're killing people. Coronavirus? 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 coronavirus. Yes, there is, and yes, it is killing people. Well, what the fuck are we doing now? Because this is not making sense. This ain't making sense. Something ain't right about this coronavirus pandemic. We didn't shut down the whole fucking world. 7.8 billion people. We didn't send this whole shit into the, the whole economy into the toilet. Pay attention. Because somebody about to get paid. And it ain't going to be us. We about to go into a depression. Over 15,000 dead bodies. More people die from car accidents. I keep telling y'all, more people have died from car accidents on a daily basis in the country. Well, I guess anybody died from car accidents right now because everybody's sitting at home scared of the coronavirus. 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 The coronavirus. The coronavirus. <coughs> y'all frightened. Running wild. And my nasal spray. Damn, it's in the bedroom. I ain't took my nasal spray yet, y'all. Mmm. Why not you with a damn spray? Shit. Anyway. Um, something ain't right. Something ain't right about this pandemic. Then it caused all this chaos and confusion. It's so deadly. It's killing people. Well, yeah, it is. I agree. It is. Those dead people in Italy. Them old bastards over there that should have been died. The fuck they do? What is going on? No offense to this person. I'm about to, no offense. One of my friends, I know he's going to watch this video. He's very concerned about his grandfather. Who just had hip replacement surgery. And I'm not being offensive to you or no, no, no way. But his, he's so worried his grandfather may die, could possibly die in all this. His grandfather's 105 years of age. Now, hey. I don't know why a 105 years of age man would be having hip replacement surgery at his age in life. Uh, listen, let me tell y'all motherfuckers right now, I don't want to live to be 105 years of motherfucking age. Not with you niggas. No, sir. Who gonna take care of me? My nieces and nephews and they badass kids and they Oh, no. I don't want to be around them pot smoking niggas. I don't want to be around to live that old. No way. I be laid up there telling my kid, no way I want them niggas taking care of me. No. I'll be like, oh no, y'all need to go. go can y'all can go bury me in the backyard and throw some dirt on my head? Like, but you ain't dead, Uncle Walter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw some dirt on my black head in any motherfucking way. <laughs> Dig a hole and throw my ass in there. No. No way. And go, people keep screaming, population control, population control, population control, population control, population control. <laughs> uh, I, excuse me, I didn't hear that from a thousand people. Because the coronavirus seems to be going after old folks. 
mostly. And some young folks are going too. People die. People die every fucking day. They die. But I think there's going to be pandemonium in the streets very soon. Because we didn't shot this motherfucking economy down the whole worldwide for this shit. For this. What are we doing? Does it make sense? The coronavirus, 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 the coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. It's the coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. It's the coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Coronavirus, the coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus is beating our heads. Coronavirus, coronavirus, all over the news. Coronavirus, they getting us on our eyes. Coronavirus, coronavirus, they got us all afraid. The coronavirus, running wild. Coronavirus, coronavirus, and ain't shit happening. Oh, it's some shit happening though. We all going fucking broke over here. They didn't kill the economy. A lot of people gonna be unemployed for years. This whole shit is in the shithole. How do we co- recover from this? What's the next step? How will we get out of this when the coronavirus is gone? But I got another question for you. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. What if it never goes away? The coronavirus, the coronavirus. What if it's here to stay? Coronavirus, the coronavirus. How long we we locked down? The coronavirus, the coronavirus. How long we gonna have to go through this? The coronavirus. I can run with a how long? The coronavirus, the coronavirus, 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 the coronavirus, the coronavirus. How long we gonna have to deal with this bullshit? How long they gonna lock us in our houses to protect us from the coronavirus? Why everybody think around us crash and tank and burn? Will we be able to get out of it? Some people are optimistic. Everything will return to normal as soon as they open up the gates. When is that going to happen? Because I'm getting all types of numbers. Schools have closed for the remainder of the year because of the coronavirus. The colleges have closed for the remainder of the year because of the coronavirus. Everything has come to a complete halt because of the coronavirus. And don't think for a second you're going to be going back to work soon after this because of the coronavirus. We facing some serious times and trouble times ahead, but we just getting started. So my numbers right now may not mean shit if the coronavirus gets really bad. If it gets really bad, we really gonna be deep in shit. But something's telling me we ain't gonna be that bad though. Something's telling me. Things might not be as bad as we think it's going to get. I don't know. All I know is we stuck in something right now that we got to get through. And I know people are sick of hearing about the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, coronavirus. But it's everywhere. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. All up and down the streets. The coronavirus, the coronavirus. The coronavirus. Everybody's sitting at home. The coronavirus, the coronavirus. We stuck. Coronavirus, coronavirus. They didn't ram the run, tear it up, I ask. Coronavirus, the coronavirus. We are doomed. The coronavirus has doomed our motherfucking asses. And we're going to see how this plays out. But here's an interesting thing. I just got a text while I'm sitting here. It says... Uh, oh, CNN. Crowds pack beaches. So people still at the beach? I thought they closed all the beaches. What's going on here? Um, let's see. Over the weekend, as the global number of cases soared past 300,000, we still got 7.8 billion people who are on planet Earth. 300,000 cases of the coronavirus really ain't shit. Yes, pneumonia kill you. Yes, but how many people have pneumonia last year? They're screwing those numbers. You know that, right? They literally have kind of brushed those numbers to the side. This is far more deadly than the flu. Hmm, what? All the folks died? But what happened? What? Oh, something ain't right about this shit. So, Spain enforced the new travel bans. Italy is asking for U.S. military support to bury the old people. A bunch of old folks. Well, some young folks mixed up in there. But life is life, I understand. However, in Australia, Aussies flocked to Sydney's icon- iconic Bondi Beach. 
Bondi Beach Force officials to shut it down because they wouldn't you all supposed to be running from the coronavirus. The coronavirus. The corona ain't got the memo. And that's the coronavirus. That's the corona about to kill their ass. Coronavirus. That corona they have on the beach. Got the coronavirus. What the fuck? What are you doing on the beach in the middle of the coronavirus? Christ, get your hands off this damn beach. You're supposed to be home hiding. Go. Cause we got other plans for you motherfuckers. Something ain't right about this, Jess. I ain't stupid, y'all. Now, I advise y'all not to be so fucking stupid, too. Yeah, most of people are dying. Yes, I do know people die. I think Earl almost died from the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure of it now. I think Earl had the coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. I was right there next to him. The coronavirus. The coronavirus. What happened to me? Why didn't I get the coronavirus? Man, I never understood. My me and Earl on this trip, we both came back with some congestion. I assume because we was in different. We were in Jamaica. We were in Bahamas. Mexico, we had four stops. Jamaica, Bahamas, Mexico, I'm missing one. We were on this beach someplace. We both came back with congestion. Earl well, thinking to keep us smile. When Earl came back, Earl said he wasn't feeling well. He threw up that Monday night. We got back his Sunday. Earl went on by his business back to his place. Oh, bye. See your motherfucking ass later. We hard get. And I went on to my house. Whoo, slammed it off. Earl went to work Monday. As usual, this was the weekend after Thanksgiving. We were on a Thanksgiving cruise. We had a fabulous time. Best cruise ever. I don't know if I'm getting back on another cruise. I'm scared. 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 Anyway, um, that Monday, we got back that Thanksgiving Friday. We landed back in Port Canaveral Saturday. Earl signed. We are going. Because I want to go shopping at Nike. He was tired. I wanted to hang around Orlando. He wanted to get back to Atlanta. What are we rushing back to Atlanta for? Atlanta for. But the highway traffic coming up up 75 from out of Orlando was packed. We couldn't get up the highway. It was Thanksgiving weekend. Blacks stayed by shop. We couldn't get up the highway. So we ended up, we, we did have to spend the night in Florida. We had to take the floor, go towards Tallahassee, the 10 towards Tallahassee. Well, actually, we cut through the country to go towards that. We actually spent the night in Tallahassee, Florida, because we couldn't get up the highway. This damn American just has to turn that shit off. But we actually had to spend the night in Tallahassee because the traffic was so bad from shoppers and everything. Was something going on in Gainesville, some big game or something? We were stuck. So we spent the night in Tallahassee, Florida. And then that Saturday night, that Sunday, we got on up and we got on back to Atlanta. It was fine. That Monday, we all got sick. Girl ended up in the hospital. I had a little congestion too. Nose running. So I immediately started rinsing out my sinuses. Rinsing sinuses to pop some some Z pack. I had some Z pack. Z pack popped up here. I said something right. I could feel it. I said something not right. And I popped the Z pack. Started taking my Z pack every three years and, and rinsing my sinuses out. But Earl never had a fever. Earl laid there Tuesday. He been sick. He been eating. I was giving him food and stuff. He was there. He said he wanted some soup. I brought him some soup. I got some cough medicine. Uh, he brought him a little nanny pot thing, little rinse and sinuses out. He he don't particularly care for the nanny pot thing. Um, he said he I said I begged him to go to the um, emergency care and doctors, the emergency room. Let's just go see what the fuck is going on. He want to hear him now. I'm fine. I just lay down. So I said fine. Thursday, Friday, he said he had doctor's appointments. I said okay. So he goes to the doctor on Friday. He gets to the Friday doctor's appointment at two thirty. His doctor looks at him and says, "Oh, you got pneumonia." We gotta go to the emergency room. So Earl calls me. Well, I need you to come bring me to the emergency room. We all go back and forth. I said, call ambulance. I'm not paying that five hundred dollars for ambulance. I said, well, why won't you pay the five hundred dollars for ambulance? Calling people. Fuck that five hundred dollars. I'm way over in Grant Park. He way over off Briarcliff Road. It would have took me forever to get over to get into the emergency room. Call ambulance. The doctor put Earl in his car. Earl was in his car this way. He went back to the doctor's office. And the doctor took, put him in the car and took Earl to the emergency room. By the time I got there, packed the ass emergency room, I look at Earl, he can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. I'm like, well, lay down. They trying to do all this stuff. He's filling out paperwork. I'm filling out the paperwork. I said, you just lay there. I'll take care of this. And that's when he coded. After they first said they are going to kick us out of the hospital because they didn't have no bed space. Y'all niggas leaving. Where are we going? <laughs> we got the ambulance driver here. The funny part is, they are the ambulance that they were going to use to transport Earl to the next hospital that driver was one of the four people that ended up beating the world's chest trying to keep him, keep him alive. <sighs> the coronavirus. 
the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure right, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. How will we know? The antibodies. We're going to both have to get tested to see when they come out with the antibodies to see, do we, am I, are we producing the antibodies for the coronavirus? Then we'll know if we were exposed to it and if that's what he had. I ain't as dumb as y'all think I am over here. Something ain't right about this shit. But the coronavirus, the coronavirus, we stuck. The coronavirus, we stuck here. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. We gonna be stuck in this coronavirus. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. The might have fun. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, we stuck here, coronavirus, the coronavirus, all we can do, coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, we are stuck, the coronavirus, we are doomed, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, oh boy, the coronavirus, it ain't coming to an end soon, guys, the coronavirus, we are doomed, we are doomed, and we get that food Donald Trump in office, and we got to deal with that dumbass motherfucker. I sure wish we can give the coronavirus to every motherfucker that voted for his ass. They need it. They deserve it. We'll see. We'll see. 7.8 billion people on planet Earth. 7.8 billion people. If you good at math, tell me what percentage is 340,000 cases of the coronavirus of that 7.8 billion people on planet Earth. That they didn't lock down any houses worldwide. Some ain't right about this. Some ain't right. Something's not right. It ain't right, y'all. And we about to lose everything behind this shit. And they ain't gonna take over the world. Because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus. The coronavirus, 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 it's the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, it's the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus, we doomed. The coronavirus, we are doomed, y'all. We in a world of trouble. A world of trouble. And it ain't gonna give no better no time soon. Donald Trump is the wrong person to lead us out of this. He is. If we get lucky, that motherfucker will die from the coronavirus. But he might have already got the cure. Uh, notice how they still working around from podium. Everybody still near each other. They're not practicing social distancing. Why aren't y'all supposed to be practicing social distancing? Y'all a little bit too close to each other up there. Something ain't right about this shit. Something ain't right, y'all. Mm-mm. Something's not right. But, hey. Like I can say, I'm just a fool here on the internet. Today is Monday. It's March 23rd. The year is 2020. You know, I'll enjoy your day. I'll be back. There's a couple of things I'm going to talk about later on, but I got to get some breakfast. I ain't eat shit. I'm just drinking coffee and dip, take a blood pressure map here. I'm going to be like, I need some food. My ass hungry. Fuck the coronavirus. Feed my ass down. Let me go give me some D. I'm out of here.